So we all know the name of the game, and that is offense wins games, defense wins championships. And look, as a guy that has been defending the Las Vegas Raiders for the entire season, I got to be honest. I feel like it is time to shed some light. Now, we made a video earlier in the year talking about why Derek Carr uh, really just needs some help on the defensive side of the football, and we stand by that. In fact, we went back. We went back to looking at some of the statistics, and I think back then on the video we first said that if Derek Carr even had a top 15 type defense, I mean... I think this guy would be, uh, and the Raiders for that matter, would be one of the top teams in the NFL, and he would be one of the top quarterbacks at least if he had some help. And then obviously this season happened. It looked great for the first three games of the season. You know, you beat a great couple of playoff teams. But to me, the biggest travesty was this offensive line I thought was going to take a step forward. It didn't. In fact, I think it was more of a bigger detriment to him. And I, I feel absolutely awful for Derek Carr because I feel like, yes, has he been... Uh, the greatest quarterback in you know uh, in Raiders history certainly not has he been one of the better quarterbacks in the league also certainly not but I will say he has been reliable and he's not the problem in Las Vegas that's right Derek Carr is not the problem in Las Vegas you know I fully believe that what it comes down to is the fact that Derek Carr has been having a, a great or, or at least a, a above average offense and you know we went back and we'll show you this in a little bit but we went back and, and looked at all of the defenses throughout uh since Derek Carr got into the NFL in 2014 and quite frankly it was astonishing it was absolutely astonishing um and we think that uh, at least I think excuse me that at the end of the day when we talk about a player in, De in Derek Carr who in my mind, leads offenses and does his thing well, and the rest of it is not coming together. There has to be there has to be another explanation for it. There has to be a bigger issue when you've got a quarterback that leads at least at least a top fifteen uh, or better offense. Um, and you know what? Uh, then we went back and looked at the different things causing the mess, and here it is right here. And before we go, by the way, two things. Number one, uh, yeah, we had said that all this man needs is a top fifteen defense. Well. Uh, that hasn't happened in his entire career. His entire career with the Las Vegas Raiders, this man has not had a top 15 defense. And number two, we also got uh, the friends uh, in a low-key gaming uh, that lent us this camera. So if you guys like the new resolution, uh, let us know what you guys think. Uh, we'll be leaving the comment section down below. Their game handle, they, they do a lot of great things at gaming. They're a lot of fun to watch. And uh, also, uh, and the main creator is uh, Dave Kidd. He's a good buddy of mine and really appreciative of him uh, lending us this camera. So if you guys like the new resolution, let us know what you guys think. Um, and we'll put his, um, his uh, low-key gaming, excuse me, their handle down in the description below for their Twitch channel. Uh, but let us know what you guys think. Back to football. Back to football uh yeah let's take a look at this little bit of a transition here that's right yes so you see here throughout the last what seven years and i do i do apologize for my amateur amateur excel skills but the point remains the same if you look throughout the past uh what seven eight years since Derek Carr got to the nfl this man has never has never had a top defense in the NFL, or at least a top 15 de defense for that matter. Now, you'll look at in his first year, 2014, they were 16th in total passing yards, uh, 22nd in running uh, the football, and 21st in, in total uh, defensive statistics, uh, in total yards, excuse me. 32nd in points allowed, 28.3. And you can see it all throughout the seven years here. You've got you know, 2015, 26, 13, 22, and 22 again. I, and, and it's not even about the yards for me. I can, I can get over the yards. But it's the fact that this man has had to deal with this entire thing of, yes, he has a great, he, at times he has a really explosive offense, but if you look at the rest of the years here, it's just tough for the man that has to shoulder the load here. And his defense just does not help him in any way and it's unfortunate because there is some talented players especially on this year's defense we've touched on them a lot guys like Denzel Perryman Solomon Thomas I think has had a good year Unique Ngagwe what leading the team I believe with nine sacks this year and then also you look at you know 2016 2017 2016 year was the year by the way I believe they went 12 and 4 and made the playoffs which with this kind of a defense allowing 24 points a game and it's honestly in that that span not even their best Defensive effort, I think it was their second best for my record. Yeah, right here. It says it right here, Golden. Uh, but you look, that is their second best defensive uh, 
points allowing total. And they just, you know, obviously from the year before. So it's just, it's tough when you think about what Derek Carr has gone to go through. Um, and again, has he been the biggest uh, the, or the best quarterback in the league? Not by far. Has he been the best in the AFC West? Patrick Mahomes, I'm sorry. But he has been a good quarterback and good enough to be able to get them in the spot. And especially um, with what you consider. But any quarterback that has, I mean, I think Dak Prescott is a great example of this, but any quarterback that has to be put in a spot where he has to shoulder the load, it's just not a good thing, especially when, uh, you know, their defense is just, you know, not getting it done. And you look here, 2021, 31st in points allowed this year, 27.7. Now, I am no perfect man. I think that's easy to be said. But we need to be able to call a spade a spade here. Derek Carr isn't the problem. We just showed you the defensive statistics. We have shown you that, you know, if they, and, and that's the thing about the statistics. We'll bring it back here for a second too because I forgot to touch on one thing. It's not even just the fact that he is not, he, he's not the problem, but it's the fact that even if the Raiders are good in one statistical category, i.e. look at years like 2019 in which they were 8th against the run and 25th against the pass. In other words, teams are able to, either run on the Raiders or pass on the Raiders. There's no consistent defense that has been able to take it away. In other words, what I'm trying to say is if you give this man a top defense, a top 15 defense in scoring, at the very least, we'll throw yards out the window for a second. I think Derek Carr can lead this team to playoff wins and a potential Super Bowl. I absolutely, full-heartedly, 100% believe it. Because he has that kind of a talent, and you know, obviously they need to go get some more weapons, replace Henry Ruggs, uh, and, and kind of look what they have with their offensive line this next season. But the offense has never, has never, in my mind, been the problem. Now, could he play bigger in certain spots? Absolutely, absolutely needs to stand up in some bigger spots. But to sit here and say that this man is the clear problem in Las Vegas is just not true. It's just not true. We just proved it that this defense has been the detriment, the problem for a long time. And now we've seen some good things, especially throughout the first three games of the season this year. But at the end of the day, they just throughout the rest of the season have not got it done. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Uh, yeah, there we go. Below. Uh, leave us a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Uh, make sure you guys also check out our website at thesportsbeatpodcast.com. In the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also in our description, you'll find our link to our iTunes. So give us a like and a sub there. Also, check out Low Key Gaming one more time. Great stuff. Uh, a lot of fun to watch. Really funny. The stream was actually really funny last night. So make sure you guys go check them out. Um, and also, if, as always, if you have anything you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below. Um, uh, we would be glad to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about Derek Carr not being the problem in Las Vegas.